Bada ba ba da. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to another Redstone video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, Elliot challenged me. He said, "All right, Red. Um, I think I can I can ride faster than you in training. Uh, so I'm not having that. Long story short, uh, we're doing a race faster than six hours. Either way, who can ride the most furthest in six hours is the winner. So." Uh, yeah, let's uh let's get riding. It's just just before eight at the moment, so uh nice cruisy wake up. Right guys, we've got some breakfast on. I've got uh, some porridge cooking here, 100 grams of oats, full fat milk. I'm gonna wax some Nutella in as well. This is gonna gonna fuel me for a for a good race today. Start the day off. This is some fancy ice cream. Owner. It's got like cranberries, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds. You know. All the all the good stuff and pouring milk whilst filming it is actually really quite difficult. So uh, I don't know how much is in there. Yeah, seems about right. And I probably put too much granola, but that's great. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to bunk today. And uh, nice one, boys. So the best beverage to start your day is in fact orange juice. Sometimes people ask me uh, what my nutritional tips are. Uh, it's orange juice. It's a recovery drink. It's a pre-race drink, pre-ride drink, pre-workout. Okay, so I actually need to go in 10 minutes and I'm still not ready to go, so uh, let's uh, let's speed this up. Okay, yeah, I don't know how good that turned out, but hey ho, yeah, here we go. Right, managed to get all my stuff. I'm only 15 minutes late, got all the all kit, it's very hot and no sun cream, and uh, let's see if we can't get burnt today, because, uh, yeah, I've only ever been burnt once in my life before, uh, and I've got, I've got quite a lot of food, but we don't bonk these days, we don't bonk. See, 2016 red back in the day, club runs I just didn't eat I didn't didn't eat anything and uh, I bonked every single week so uh, we're not gonna do that anymore so uh, let's go let's go uh, let's go for a nice like, six hour ride I'm still on the wall here even three two one oh all right only six hours left it's a battle of distance we can go the furthest I reckon I've got this in the bag. So, uh, yeah, let's go. We reached a great landmark here, the uh, Eiffel Tower in all of its beautiful glory. Uh, hashtag I love Paris. And I uh, can't wait to see more of this beautiful city. So, I don't know about you, Elliot, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Just an hour in, just cruising away in the zone, too, you know? We've, uh, we're maintaining that 20 mile an hour average and uh, yeah, we're just cruising along. So uh, yeah, you might, I think you might need some help at this rate because uh, you're not going to catch me, mate. Right, I'm an hour in. I've uh, normalised 320 for the first hour, picking up two guys now who are, who are going to turn me along. Many riders joined the he enjoyed last year. So we're cruising, cruising through the New Forest now. This is actually where the chain gang ends, near Bewley. It's uh, quite a nice open space. As you can see, it's just uh, pretty nice. The one thing I didn't tell Elliot though, is that I have a little secret trick up my sleeve to get this ride done just a little bit faster. So uh, we'll see what that is in uh, about 15 minutes. A few moments later. So my help, I've actually recruited the help of Six Day Tom, the man. Hey! Or is. Meow. Oh, it's gonna come up real quick now. 
red. Hello, mate. Mate, I've got I've, <laughs> I've got the help of the St. Piran team, mate. I've got I've got Ross Holland and Chris Opie, fastest man in the UK. You're screwed, mate. No, I don't believe it, mate. I don't believe it. How far have you done so far? Mate, how, how far have you gone? How far have you gone? Mate, I've done 250k, so you're done. All right, mate. Well, I can't, I can't, we can't stop for more than 15 minutes, so uh, better go. But I hope you get a puncture. All right, bye, mate. Bye. Tom's recently been making these uh, pretty cool bar bags and uh, I've uh, got my own one today as well. If you're interested in a bar bag of your own, I'll have the link down below if you want to buy one. And uh, yeah, give them a shout. Some uh, beautiful views here. And now uh, let's see if I can't nearly die on this descent. And then, the unthinkable happened. So Elliot, mate, I don't know what kind of witchcraft ritual you've been performing, but Tom snapped a spoke. So uh, that's some uh, that's some booty you've been uh, doing right there. Yeah, so we're gonna have a little pit stop, and uh, hopefully get get rolling. But obviously at a slightly reduced speed. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give, do some sort of ritual to to make you get I don't know a double flat, run out of tubes. I'll be I'll be pretty unfortunate, wouldn't it? That's the sound of the nipple still in the wheel. Oh. And then, somehow, it got worse. Two dudes chilling at the side of a road, two metres apart, because there's no corona. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and the bike. So, uh, yeah, I've got my new Supreme. It's so fully built suspension. There, it's fucked down there as well. Long story short, a car overtook us. Sounded and I was like, whoa, that's a crazy place to overtake, because there's cars all over, there's loads of traffic. We're not going any slower than the traffic. And then he's gone now, he gave us his number for his stuff. Um, and then like, there was a car in front, he still tried to overtake, dipped in, and then slammed on the brakes. And I just went, whoa, and there's a don't know what it bump is. on my arm, I don't know. This is a reconstruction, and does not fully represent what actually happened. enough this vlog is over my friend sorry so uh dad's come to pick me up bike in the car and uh time to go home and maybe to the hospital because i might need surgery so who knows yeah it's fun time's great in the bank unfortunately red crashed so um yeah it's a bit of a bitter end to the ride but anyway i'll update you guys when i've recovered a bit but yeah a really good good day in the legs and uh with some good company which is nice all right uh that's the day over big day on the bike ciao